Welcome to Pittsburgh in southeast Kansas, more specifically southeast of Pittsburgh. A cool thing about Kansas is when you're out in the country, a lot of the roads are set up into mile section roads or one mile by one mile squares. And a lot of these roads are dirt or chat surface, which is like a very fine gravel. So if you don't have a GPS like me, it's very easy to monitor your pace out here mile by mile. However, for a workout like I'm doing today, five times one mile with 115 rest, I don't really have a good way to monitor my pace within each rep. So I'm gonna have to rely on feeling it out the first couple reps and then settle into the rhythm that I think is a good lactate threshold pace. I'm gonna go warm up a couple miles on a section that I won't be doing the workout on, so I'll catch you in a second. So for the workout, I'm just gonna be going out and back on this stretch here. The problem with this type of workout in this type of setting is that my camera is just sitting here by itself for 12 minutes or so before I get back to it and I get barely any usable footage out of that, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm also gonna carry my phone with me and maybe get some footage in the middle of the recovery jog or something. I absolutely hate doing that, but I'll do it anyways. So I think I'm ready to go now. This will be my first workout of my half marathon training cycle. So let's see how it goes. first mile is a little quicker. first workout as I was saying I just had to kind of go by feel for the entire workout since I couldn't monitor pace throughout each rep but I think that's really important going into a half marathon because I think it's crucial that you know what your body is capable of and that you feel things out so you don't overextend yourself early in a long race like that so I'm just gonna cool down three miles now I'm gonna run over to another intersection where one of my favorite dogs out here is so I'll see if he's out there him anywhere out here. He's pretty hard to miss because he's like a big polar bear. Maybe next time. That's a wrap for all the running. I'm pretty happy with the effort for that workout, especially for a first one in a while. Time to head back into town now. So these are the shoes I've been running in for a while now. They're a pair of Saucony Ride 10s. They've been good shoes for me, but I've been wearing them for too long because I wore these through a really high mileage phase this fall and they're starting to get pretty beat up. As you can see here on the outside, this mesh is getting pretty worn down and tearing apart there. And then here, this mesh on the Achilles is tearing apart too. So I think it's about time to wear a new pair of shoes. So I've had these stashed away for a while. Nike Vomero 11. I wore the Vomero 9s for a long time and liked them a lot, so figured these would be good. Now these though, these just came in the mail today and I have not looked in the shoe box yet. 
The shoe box is a little beat up, but that shouldn't affect the shoes. So these are pretty dang fresh. I'm not sure if I can even bear to get these dirty. So that's gonna do it for this video. Tomorrow afternoon, I'm leaving for Division II Cross Country Nationals. So if by some miracle I can get this edited and uploaded before then, wish the Pitt State Grill as well this Saturday. And that's all I've got for today. So see you next time.